It's Tuesday, October 13th, 2015, and that means you survived Monday. And this is What Did I Miss? The show that finds everything that was awesome on the internet today so you don't have to. If you enjoy the show, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and be sure to share all of this awesome with all of your friends. Without further ado... Let's do this. In I Hope You Like Swimming news, a new study into the effects of global warming has shown that cities like New Orleans and Miami will eventually sink below sea level. Though it's not likely in any of our lifetime, the study shows that it could happen as early as next century. If carbon emissions continue as they have, many U.S. cities could end up the new lost city of Atlantis. New Orleans and Miami are not the only cities that could be affected. Highly populated places like New York, California, and Virginia could all become permanent swimming pools. The research goes on to say that for some cities, the point of no return has already been reached. For others, if different choices are made about burning fossil fuels, there's a possibility to slow or even stop the rising sea levels. It's hard to imagine that some of the largest and most culturally relevant cities could be underwater within a hundred years. Historical buildings and landmarks will be visible only by diving expeditions. I'd love to hear what you think. Are these cities at risk by being swallowed up by the ocean? Or do you think this research is phony and it's highly unlikely? Please let me know in the comment section below. In Stupid People Just Can't Help Themselves news, a drunk driving woman incriminated herself with the use of the live streaming app Periscope. I'll give you one guess as to which state this is out of. You're correct if you said Florida. Whitney Beale of Lakeland, Florida, is facing a DUI charge after police used her Periscope live stream to track her down. For those of you who don't know what Periscope is, it's a live streaming app to which anyone, anywhere can broadcast themselves in real life, in real time, and it's worldwide. Those who happened to stumble upon this live stream attempted to contact police using the landmarks and streets that the woman was screaming out in her drunken stupor. She was quoted saying, I'm drunk on South Florida Avenue because I'm a drunk person. She was also complaining about having a flat left front tire as she had apparently jumped a curb. As the live stream went on, several viewers attempted to send messages to the driver, advising her to stop before she killed herself or others. She was eventually found, given a sobriety test, which she failed, then she was charged with a DUI. Here's a clip of the stream. I'm f***ing drunk. I don't even know why I'm stopping right now. This is f***ing ridiculous. Like, I can't read you guys. I'm sorry. I can't. And be glad I'm not reading you guys right now because I'm f***ing driving. I'm not drunk. I I believe in alcohol, but I am not drunk right now. I'm... I'm pretty drunk right now, and I got most of my drinks are free. So, if you really want to be in the USA, come in the USA. And if you want to see the whole thing, I've included the link below. At this time in the show, I'd like to start a new segment called Links You Didn't Know You Should Bookmark. This is where I give you a couple websites that you likely did not know existed, and you can save them for later because they're useful. This first link is for anyone who likes pizza, so... Everyone. If you're tired of playing the regular lotto, spending your money, and then losing, then you won't mind playing the pizza lotto for free. Every week, the thepizzalotto.org gives away one free, one-topping large pizza from any shop that the winner chooses. And it's completely free. All you have to do is go to the website and sign up. Seriously, that's it. Don't say I never did anything for you. The next link just makes surfing the internet a little less congested. You know how when you're on Facebook or Twitter and someone shares a link and it's the 10 best this or the 7 best ways to do that? But when you click on the link, it's not all on one page and it's a gallery that you actually have to click through to get to the next page. Then you have to deal with all the annoying pop-up ads and the ads in the corner and there's videos loading and then something's playing and you have no idea what it is. Well, this next link fixes all of that for you. If you go to dslide.clusterfake.net, enter the link that you were trying to view, this website takes all of those individual slides into one page. So that way you can view the whole thing on one page and not have to worry about clicking through all that stupid crap. You're welcome. In what the hell is happening news, Playboy has released a statement that they will no longer be putting nude women in their magazines. The magazine, founded in 1953, is known as a men's entertainment and lifestyle magazine, and has since its inception included photographs of completely nude women. Up until the advent of almost every home having internet access, the magazine was considered risque and one of the premier places to obtain pornographic content. But now, any sexual fetish that you have can be obtained by a few clicks of the mouse, which is leaving Playboy as a relic of a different time with fewer subscribers than ever. The decision against nudes was influenced by waning support for the magazine and the internet stranglehold on free pornographic content, though the revamp will still include women in provocative positions with an emphasis on implied nude. The magazine hopes to include more content that is safe for work. 
and will continue to include the Playmate of the Month, but is describing the pictures as more of the racy side of Instagram, ultimately making the magazine more accessible. The magazine has had interviews with celebrities, both male and female, as well as former presidents, but the shock value of nude women is decreasing, and Playboy hopes to reignite its cultural relevance by doing things a little bit differently than the internet. For me, I've only ever known Playboy as something that... 50 and 60 year olds read. I guess growing up in the age of the internet kind of made it an obsolete relic. When I was a teenager, a friend of mine's father had a subscription and he used the excuse of, I just read it for the articles. And for the magazine's sake, I hope that that's true. Because this change can only go one of two ways. And that's all I have for today. If you'd like to learn more about anything that I talked about today, the links are in the description below. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Make sure to share it with all your friends. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow when you ask yourself, What did I miss?